Hello, good afternoon. I'm going to give you a little bit of a run through with regards to this uh, multi sub object mapping exercise here. Alright, so the whole idea of using a multi sub object material is so that we will be able to, without breaking up the geometry, be able to map different materials for its various surfaces. Okay, so let's explore how to get this done. Now, with this, we will go to the material editor first. Okay, let's click on. Let's click on either M or click on this button here, material editor. And inside here, you notice there are two modes. First mode will be the compact material editor. And the other one will be the slate material editor. So you probably have done this in the earlier part of the term on how to use the compact material editor. So I'm going to run through with you on how to use the slate material editor here. With this, we are going to use, let me minimize all these first. We are going to use scan line materials. So in using scan line materials, before this, we need to make sure in the rendering mode itself, under rendering, under render setup, we are going to use we are going to use the scan line renderer. Okay? We are going to use the scan line renderer engine and not art render or mental ray renderer. Okay? This one is uh, ma the material is renderer specific. So we are going to use scan line renderer. Alright? <clears throat> After this is done, we will look for scan line and expand this by clicking on the plus. And here we are going to use standard by dragging it in so we'll create a first material here so what we can do is we can double click on the material header and rename this material as material 1 for now okay and then we are going to put a texture to the material so what's going to happen is we are going to expand maps and then we are going to look for general and use bitmap this one and we are going to click and drag it to the diffuse color in order for the textures to show up. And inside here, we are going to choose, let's say, poster 01 as material number 1. Okay. And once we are done with this, you will find that there will be a link. There will be a procedural link here from, from the output to the input of the diffuse color. All right. And there are six materials we need to prepare for this particular exercise. So five for the cube, one, two, three, four, and five. And the last one will be the base plane surface here. All right. So we will need to prepare five sets, five remaining sets of these. All right. So I'm going to just do this again. Just drag another one. I'm going to call it. 2 and I'm going to drag the bitmap to diffuse color and choose material or poster 2 and I'm going to repeat the same again call it 3 and drag the bitmap to diffuse color and look for material 3 And I'm go going to go with the fourth one, double click on it, and under the header here, call 4, and drag this to diffuse color, 4. And I'm going to drag the fifth one, and rename it as 5, and drag the bitmap to the diffuse color, and change it to 5. Alright? And the last one, I will just call it, double click on it and call it 6. And drag the bitmap to diffuse color again and to call it 6. Alright. <clears throat> and when this is done, I will choose one more special material here. Which will be under the general header here. And I'm going to look for this one, multi-sub-object material. This one. 
and I'm going to drag it to the to the editor okay and with this under the output here I will drag the output node to you see down here there's an array of numbers I'm going to drag, drag it to 1 so that will mean this is material ID number 1 for this particular material okay and then the second one will be here material number ID number 2 and I'll just pull it down material ID number 3 ID number 4 5 and the, finally ID number 6 alright and once I'm done I can click on this icon here lay out all vertical to arrange it so that it becomes neat here alright so once I'm done actually what I can do is I'm going to select these two these two geometries down here and I will just click on this icon here called assign material to selection <clears throat> now you notice that when I click on this assign material to selection very strange things begin to happen all right it doesn't look like I'm doing it properly according to the image shown this is because the material IDs are not properly assigned. So what needs to happen is I need to do something to the geometry. But I'm not going to explode or break up the geometry here. Alright. So what's going to happen is I will select this box here. And I will add an editable edit poly modifier on top of this. And I will expand it and go into the polygon selection mode. And from here... I will go to this one, the polygon material ID header here, and I will give it, I will select the surfaces and give it an ID number. For example, this is the top surface here, I will give it ID 1, and I will give this one ID as, let's say, 2, this one ID 3, this one ID number 4 and this one ID number 5 and then I will exit the editable poly command and I'm gonna work on this one this one is a separate geometry altogether it's a plane I will add another edit poly command to it and I will go to polygon selection mode and I will select this face, this polygon here, and I will call I will set the ID to 6. Okay. So as you can see right here, I am essentially only using one multi sub-object material here, but I am able to now, through the use of the material IDs, create a differentiation for the materials itself. It almost seems as, as if this, this multi-sub-object material is the material editor that will allow me to select and assign the materials to whichever plane and surface I need it to be. Okay, this is what essentially the essence of this exercise is all about. Alright. 